Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell so that you would be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you all for your support. The Special Investigating Unit SIU, together with the Zondo Commission, has been working tirelessly to ensure that they find those that have been implicated in any corrupt activities in South Africa. The two bodies have found lots of people who have been implicated and then hand over everything to the National Prosecuting Agency so that they may then charge them and arrest them for the corruption cases they have. The Zondo Commission has now released the third part of their report but there has not been any arrest made by the NPA for those that have been implicated in the state capture which saw state funds being misused for their gains. The Zondo Commission found that lots of politicians played a huge role in state capture and with such findings, the National Prosecuting Agency was then expected to act decisively against those that have been implicated. With the SIU releasing their report also showing politicians that have stolen the COVID-19 funds, the National Prosecuting Agency has to then start making arrests. The former premier of Guten, Mama Action, Numvola Mokoyane, has been implicated in both state capture and PPE corruption and yet no charges have been brought against her by the NPA which then show the need for the NPA to change how they are conducting their investigations and start making arrests for those that are being implicated in corruption cases. One of the top cases that the NPA is dealing with is the case of suspended ANC Secretary General Ace Megashu, who has been going in and out of court for his corruption charges. There were about 70 cases against Ace Megashu who then fought for them to be thrown out of court since he believes that the National Prosecuting Agency does not have any case against him. He then managed to get his cases dropped only three. However, the NPA is adamant that they will start making prosecution and acts decisively against criminals. The next six months are deemed to be the most crucial by the NPA to start making prosecutions against those found guilty and also implicated in any corruption activities by either the Zondo Commission or SIU. Such promise by the NPA will then dismantle the RET, whose candidates are the ones that are mostly implicated in corruption cases in South Africa. The RET members have been eliminated by both the SIU and Sondo Commission. What can you say about this? Thanks very much for watching. Please do well to leave your comments in the comment section.